Legend of Total War here with part 17 of my Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play campaign as Italy. Alright, so previously we've declared war on Germany, which you'd think would bring all hell upon us, but due to nuclear weapons we've managed to punch a huge hole into Germany and we've captured Berlin. Now that hasn't ended the war, with, well it hasn't entered Germany just yet, I mean there's still five other people we'll have to take out, but they're by far the strongest, like it's almost, they're, they're they constitute more than 50% of Axis' strength. So we just need probably about 50 to 60 more victory points, maybe a little bit more than that, I don't know. So Hamburg's now the current capital. Let's push towards that. So the, um, yeah, I was right, the, uh, the, light cap, the light tank got there first. Split you up, head up this way. The other one, I'm gonna strategically redeploy him to here. Because we just got to move quickly. The sooner we get rid of them, the better. And as I've said before, Prague is not... Oh yeah, we got Prague, but it's not going to give us victory points. But yeah, just took it anyway. Dresden will. We'll try and get over there. And this is going on over here, but it's it's working out pretty well. If I want to nuke some more, I can. Do I want to nuke? No. Keep them, try and keep them pinned down. Actually, yeah. Nuke this, so that you can get that done quickly. So you can defeat, get pinned, um, what's it called? Pocket them. Good, they got across. We do need someone to defend Berlin. If it gets captured, we can just take it again. Not exactly leaving a lot of troops there. Just gotta keep going. Go in this direction. There's Stettin up here, which is, I think, only worth one victory point, but it all adds up. Things of strategic redeployment. Hanover's worth 10. I don't have much strength out here. Okay, so I think we need some nukes up here because I really want those guys to succeed. So that's in East Germany. Oh fuck, no, that's not where I want them to go. Okay. Didn't want to transport them there, just wanted to, to move them up here. Okay. Oh, he's actually winning. Oh, back off then, you're about to get nuked. Checking this, they're still at 67, sorry, 76%. Um, over here, yeah, it's going fine, doesn't need market management. management. Okay, so let's have a look over this way. I haven't looked at my other stuff. What about America? Uh, no naval invasions there, it's all good. So we're losing quite a bit of, like, uh, uh, old Russia and the rest of China, but that's not important right now. Uh, let's 
fine. It will give them access to a lot of factories, but we'll deal with them later. Let's take out Germany. So Rostock is worth one victory point. Okay. Okay, so you want to be nuked. Good, we go to Dresden and send them off to go over here. God, it's a mess up that way. Doesn't matter. Oh, so I see you want another nuke then. Now, the plan was to get to these guys before before they were defeated, so we can pocket them. Oh well. Oh jeez, look at my um, my uh, war support is so low. Okay, so let's um, <clears throat> I can't do any uh, propaganda. Good, they've arrested someone. That's what we want to see. Alright, let's have a look at how it's going now. German Reich, 83% towards capitulation. 50 more victory points. We've got 15 there. 10 here, so there's 25. 30. 35. Probably won't make it to there. Five over here. No, Poznan doesn't count. Breslau. I think that counts. Give him a nuke. back there. You want to get nuked? No worries, come and die. Let's 
good. Pretty stable on the frontier here. I've actually got no one there, but I don't want to cross over just yet. So we'll take Kiel, and then we'll double back around to get to Hamburg. Get the Bremen if we can. This may need nukes. Yep, I'll put two down there. Keep pushing. I think what's happened here is the white army has had to extend itself so much. Like the black part here, these guys here have like one region that they have to cover. So these ones here are spread real thin. That's not good. Can I adjust that? No, it's, look, let's just. We're so close to defeating Germany. Let's just get this done. So this is only worth five, uh, one point, but just take it anyway. Good. If you can take both of those, that's 10 points. definitely does need reforming. For sure, this is, this is not going to work long term. Okay. Um, yep. I suppose you can just contain there. This war will be over. Well, Germany will be surrendering soon. I'd say the war is going to be over. This war has a long way to go. I think I'll use this uh, during this war to like declare war on like Iraq and stuff. If we look at it, join war, conquer. Yeah, see, so it doesn't take much political power, and that way they could just join Axis. We roll over them, and it's not gonna. It's just on our way towards China anyway. So I barely lost anything here in Brazil, in South America. Maybe I'll use these guys here because. There's just nothing going on. To come down here and ju just justify these walls here. Like I said, I got nothing else to do for him. Germany's not making any attack. Germany's going to be gone soon. Just at this rate. Good, you took that. Get over here. How much more have we got to go? So close. 86%. So, Hamburg here. 15 Killed. This says 25 right there. 30. Yeah, nuke them twice. If we can beat Germany with 100 um, nukes still in reserve, that is excellent. We're almost there. If I wanted to have more than 100 nukes, I'm supposed to be using two. I think these 
guys are moving to close him off, but we got the port there, so he's okay. Not sure if capturing all of these is going to get us what we need. Just not sure. Okay, I think I need a nuke there at Hamburg. So that's in West Germany. Two should do it. There for one. And one here. So we can keep pushing them over. Oh, so now it goes into the green. Right when we deployed a new. Doesn't matter, just helps to speed things up. We've taken keel. 92%. I'm not sure if 15 points is going to get us that. If we can make a push down to here, there's there's 15 points right there. That's all we need. And then there's coal. Tw uh, 20 points right there. That would definitely be enough. I have to redirect the tanks. But you got to get rid of some of these guys here first. Right, I've taken Hamburg. 98% fucking hell. We need, just need Essen. Or, or just in, any of those settlements in there. You, make a run for it. Go. Didn't realize they were there. We can nuke along the way if we have to. Everything else is going just fine. Of course, once this war is... Oh, well, once G Germany has capitulated, not all of their soldiers will disappear, but the majority of them should. He was moving along here all along. Cool. Dortmund might be able to take it. Uh, to give us victory. We're almost there. Capitulates. 100%. They're, they're done. We have defeated Germany. Just waiting for them to capitulate and then we have to start organizing the next thing. So. Surrender. So, casualties wise, we, effect, we inflicted. 2 point, sorry, 1.7 million. We've inflicted more casualties on Vichy France for some reason. Um, yeah. Why aren't they surrendering? They've only got 16% of their victory points left. Here we go. If it's stalling, 
You know what's about to happen. This game is about to crash. German Reich has capitulated. Benito Mussolini has announced that the cowardly German nation can no longer blah 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 blah. Okay. Now, how much of them is left though? It still says that they've got upwards of 700 divisions. Um, well, another good thing is that these guys that are caught out here, they can be you know, finished off. These ones, oh, it looks like we do actually have to keep pushing here. Okay, now you guys, go out there and just hunt them down. I still need to fortify here anymore. Uh, that being said, no, we don't. We don't need to move to Staple. That's fine. So we got a whole bunch of uh, factories from that. 300 extra, but I'm not concerned about that. Who should we defeat next? Now, France's core territories are, are just in here. Vichy is worth only 3 victory points. Paris is worth 50. Germany still holds on to Great Britain. I don't really care about that. What we're going to do is knock these guys out of the war. We've knocked the German Reich out, so they're out. So who's next? Vichy is, is the next strongest. We should take them out next. So, what are they doing? Kill this guy here. But I guess our next step is to is to charge into France. I'm not going to cross over here. It, it does look like a lot of their units actually did disband. There's, there's not much there now. Don't worry about this. Now, when we cross into France, we, we do need to deal with Spain as well. What's um, National Spain got? They don't have anywhere near as much as what France has for some reason. Alright. Alright, let's keep going then. I need to make adjustments. So, this front line here, I'm done with the front line. Because it needs to be reformed. So, the white guys form up over here. Cancel all, all my, my move orders. Got to come over here. Go. Okay. Well, the tanks will just deal with all this. You can spread out. Cancel the move order I gave you. Oh, fuck me. Um, so I just want them to, to get some move orders around. I don't want to individually move 24 of those units. There's a lot of units in Stettin that needs to be nuked, I think.
keep selecting the airports. So if we knock out Stettin here, that's their port. There's bits and pieces of them all over the place, but that's about it. So I just hold them in place while we send these guys through. Come over here, finish this off, and then I want you to go. No, fuck me. I'll just wait for them to finish with this first, and then I'm gonna send all the the armor over this way because it's they don't seem like they're well defended, and we'll take out para, uh, take out France. It shouldn't be too difficult to take them out. Oh yeah, Slovakia. How strong are they? I don't expect them to have many, but let's see. Miners. Slovakia. Yeah, don't worry about them. Oh, that's actually Germany. Oh, they're not in great shape. Um, probably don't need to worry about it. It's, uh, I don't think another nuke is going to really help. Oh, that front line's longer than I thought it was. Cancel your orders. I've readjusted. Twenty divisions. No, we want all of them on that. It's just to move them into position, that's all. We can mess over here. Frontline orders, they're so stupid. Just the AI for frontline orders is just retardedly stupid. I reckon it's actually gotten worse than what it used to be. Like when I, when I was playing the Japan campaign, I didn't understand how to use frontlines. But now I reckon front lines are actually worse to use than what they used to be. These tanks take a long time to cross over. So Romania might 
go heading out here, but it doesn't matter. The more they go out this way, the fewer troops are going to be on that frontier, because once they take out this, then they capitulate. So you go right ahead. You want to go up that way? None of this territory means anything to me. With Germany gone, that makes me the top dog. I have the largest army. But Axis, Axis' combined forces are stronger than me, but now I just take them out one at a time. Like, if we have a look here, they've still got between 800 and 2,000 divisions to my 480. The thing is, that all they have to do to beat me is invade Italy. That's it. That's all they have to do. I didn't even leave any troops here. But I did leave a pretty sizable navy. strategically redeploying. Good, they killed off all of those guys. There's, there's a lot of tidying up to do of all these these armies. That's for sure. Doing that. Can't take Bratislava. Seem will be invading France from the north. Doesn't seem like there's any defences up here. I don't expect it to be too difficult. Make them capitulate, and that's the second strongest Axis member gone. Well, I suppose China would be the second strongest. Maybe second most dangerous to me is a better word. Because China is no threat to me at all. They're too far away. They're trying desperately to get back into Romania, where it's the supply will be safe. So these guys over here will just try to wrap around as much as possible, keep them contained, while these guys crush both France and then Spain, and then we double back around. Actually, no, while we're there, we'll go kill Portugal. That should be really easy. And then we'll double back around, kill off Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and then it's all, all just take out all the minor factions, if we want, and then finish off China. Okay, so we don't have air superiority in northern France at the moment. Okay, so we just need to throw a lot of our... We don't need to put any aircraft, really, out this way. Okay, that should give us superiority. I reckon three nukes is fine. Since they've got a lot of forces there, why not? Here, one nuke will do. It should be a lot easier for us to get to Paris using nukes. It's not even that far. 
And Germany would have a lot more victory points than, than France, I think. Try and just go around them so we can pocket them. You guys just keep them pinned down in the meantime. That's a lot of them overrun there. Very nice. I mean, most of them have got like no strength left, but it doesn't matter. So how are we going over here? Bit of a mess, but that's okay. Let them come back. Seems like they've been pushing forward over here, but obviously losing badly. Yeah. Try to hurry, get over here to cut these guys off. How have they not run out of supplies yet? These look like Romanian soldiers. A lot of units there, take him out. Nice big pocket here coming in. Well, big is in lots of troops. Small area. On to the next area. So let's have a look how close is um, France to surrendering now. They're already 14% of the way, and I've only taken like. Oh, so Calais is worth for a bit. So I've taken 20 victory points. Oh, and. So there's a little bit more than I thought. Paris is worth 50. We'll be there very soon. I see these fuckers want to nuke. It's taken them so long to, to get here. Pocketed, but they're probably getting some supplies from Brussels. Could be one there anyway. Big pocket coming in over here. Another nuke. 
if him and you, just because this is strategically important that they succeed. Get around over there. Stop those guys from getting to Dunkirk. When you do it then. Decent here. putting up a decent fight, considering they're pocketed. I'll just keep throwing troops at them and they're, they're going to die. Oh, we're going for cash, please. 120,000. Which you fast loses. 3 million. Hey, look, they're, they're broken through here. Ah, uh, what are we going to do about it? I don't have any... How about you? Come up here. Doesn't really matter if they break through because I'm breaking through in this way. This way, unless they actually get into Italy, I don't really care. Okay, I want you over here. down below a hundred with our nuke storage. That's okay. A lot of units here about to get majorly damaged. So how many units does France have? Fewer than us. They got no supplies, and yet they're defending. Just nuke them. But everyone, as long as we keep putting the pressure on, every time someone goes out of organization, which is really slowly, they get wiped out. They're getting supply from here. Let's see.
we are at Paris. Three, four nukes for you. Good, they killed them all. Get down here. Let's get to Paris. Let's finish this. It's fine. <coughs> they're looking at them. So they're 14% towards capitulation currently, but once we take Paris, it's going to be much better than that. Okay, Paris has been taken, and not enough to, to claim victory, but we're getting close. We're getting close to the river now. We've got these guys basically on the run. Now, where is the next load of, like, victory, uh, victory points? Brest up here. Uh, there's a few here and there. Let's keep going. See if we can try and defeat France by this end of this episode. against them. Yeah, that's better than waiting 150 days. I reckon they could use a nuke or two. We're down to 78 nukes left. Forty-two percent towards capitulation. I'm going to keep moving. Orleans over here. That <laughs> one shot kill. Keep pushing it back. Yeah, what we need to do is just come all across here. I think most of their victory points are up here. I don't know if there's that much in central France. There's not much in... S there's a fair bit in southern France. Bordeaux is worth a, a, a bit. Just keep going. Get to Cherbourg. Or however it's pronounced. I know people get triggered when they see someone mispronouncing someone, hear someone mispronouncing something. As if people are supposed to be able to pronounce every fucking word in the in every language in its native tongue. Yes, that's totally a reasonable request. And you can have a nuke. 
too. What are these guys doing? Come on, hurry up. So, no change over here. Let's see how's everything going over this way. No, no one's gotten pocketed yet, have they? Let's have a look. 24, 24, 24. No, I haven't lost any units. Make sure something's going on. Keep on pushing. Good, he's winning there now. Nanties over here. Just keep going. Pushing. Push, push, push. Constant push. We're down to 72 nukes left. Which is, you know, by all accounts, it's a lot. But we still got a lot of guys to have to kill with them. How many Frenchmen have we killed now? 3.34 million. They're halfway to defeat. That's good. This guy here is pocketed, but it doesn't matter, just get him another time. through in, in a couple of areas but it's not going to matter once they're defeated. Good. Schoberg is ours. So you go grab Brest before these guys retreat back there and then we can Pin them off as well. What's coming on here? Oh, that's a naval invasion. No, no, they're gone. Well, it's not really an invasion. I think they were just trying to get into the port. It's just escorts. It's fine. Uh, not escorts. It's convoys. Yeah. 
we don't need all of them to an empty slot, obviously. Moving. How are we going over here? Soon we'll be on the other side of Romania. Don't know what that's going to mean for us. Wonder if anyone's going to be waiting there at rest. I think I might need you over here. Honestly, though, the amount of nukes that we've dropped, it's the end of the world at that point. It's so many nukes. Even if we win the war, the climate of Earth would just be destroyed. Oh well, at least we conquer the world. But the world won't last much longer after that. So apparently we're on low manpower. Two point seven two million is not exactly low. Oh good. Minor nation, but still. Everyone that we can take out, definitely a good thing. Yeah, you should go chasing after these guys. They don't have any supplies, so... Killing them would be good. I think we've actually got fewer troops over here than we do here. But this is actually probably more dangerous at the moment. How many nukes are going to drop here? I didn't, don't think I needed to drop two more. Sixty-ish. Maybe I did need to drop them. I wanted to get here before they get back, so that I could actually need you to get over here quickly, or else there's going to be. Oh, hang on. And you need to get here. Looking at it, they are very close, 69%. That's going to be worth 20 as well, that's a lot. That's 78%, just a little bit more. So 20 victory points seems to be worth about 9. 9% capitulation. A lot of units here getting pocketed. Keep cutting through. Okay, we're almost out of northern France and into southern France, which means we need to, you know, adjust where we're nuking.
don't you dare. Okay, should be a very quick war. I imagine they'll join Axis immediately. That's fine. They've actually got a lot of troops there. Huh. Okay, well, where's... I'll need to get a different strategic bomber, I think. Let's see. Five should be enough. And then I'm going to need another air wing. Get air superiority over here. Because I'm going to nuke them. Just cancel your orders there. Just contain them for the time being. I'll drop down two nukes and then you can finish them off. Fewer than 60 nukes left. Our tanks have been great in this war. The tanks are quite useful in Europe. Due to lots of planes everywhere. Friggin' useless in the snow, like when we were in Canada. Fuck it, hell, that was tough. Make some adjustments here. Oh, look at that. They actually nuked me. Huh. Rome got nuked. Well, let's try to prevent that from happening again, so... Maintain air superiority here. How dare they nuke the Eternal City. Motherfuckers. They actually used a nuke. Thing is, though, I don't think that really does anything. It might lower my. Doesn't even lower my stability. Just enemy bombing, really. Because it used to make it so that you didn't need as many victory points. But it doesn't do that anymore because people would obviously just spam nukes all over someone, take 10% of their victory points, and then boom, they're gone. Well, that's what I would do. So they tried to make it a little bit more difficult. So that nukes just aren't as powerful as they used to. Nukes were based, used to be an instant win mechanic, just about. Which they kind of are, but I've had to, I've had to use 200 nukes. of Bordeaux. Get that by itself won't be enough to get them sur to surrender. Uh, it's getting them close.
have now taken 175,000 casualties to their 7.6 million. If I didn't use nukes, tens of millions on both sides, well, on their side, millions on my side would have died. In fact, no, I would have just outright lost. Okay, let's not, let's not be serious. Let's be serious, I mean. There's no way in hell. I put, I mean, I could have won if you just hunkered down and wait for them to wear themselves out. Except I don't think that would have been very interesting. Basically just sit there on five times speed in forts just waiting for Germany to just run out of manpower. Because in a straight up fair fight there was just no way. They had something close to six times as many divisions as I had. It's just... Anyway, not anymore. to Bordeaux. That'll give us another 9%. It gives us to 81. This one here is another 5. Yeah, see that got us to 90. I was right. Down the coast here. Just be careful though because you're going to enter Spain. We'll deal with Spain after we've finished off France. So we point dealing with them now. Just confuse our efforts. Spain's got about half the army that Vichy France had. And once once they've surrendered, these guys here will cross in. We'll have twice as many soldiers. Because these guys here are just, just sitting around. Making sure they don't flood into Italy. I wonder who it was that used a nuke on me. If I had to guess, I would say France. It doesn't really matter though. Get down here, capture the shit, go kill him. And you, yeah, just, just try and slow down the capture of these areas. Oh, hang on, look at this. One of my tanks must have gotten pocketed because they're down, down to 23. It happens. It's very, it's actually quite susceptible to getting pocketed. I've just taken Tolu, that's worth... Someone get, got up with me about my pronunciation of Tolu. And that it's actually pronounced Toulouse. I don't fucking know. Let's take a guess. I've never even heard how it's pronounced. I fucking call it Tolosa. That's its original name, I think. Um, 93%. So we still need to take about 17 victory points off them. That's worth 5. It's only worth 1. Where the hell are their victory points? Oh shit, this is probably where I got pocketed. Yeah, that's worth 10. If I can take that. Go, go, go. And this one here is worth 5. If we take both of those, we win. Need to replace it. Everyone else. 
Doesn't seem to have taken any casualties, so we're good. Vichy France has capitulated. Very nice. Now we just need to clean up. It includes you guys as well. Then we move in on Spain. This over here, we just contain this for the time being. Although we could take out Hungary pretty easily. Why don't we start pushing in there? I've got the nukes for it. Just hold the line here for the time being, I suppose. Let's take out Hungary. What about Romania? Well, let, let's... Hang on. Yeah, Vichy France still ends up with all their other territory. Well, they've taken a lot of stuff in India. And I've forgotten about this here. But it was just containment, so... Nuke. Nuke. I'll give them two each. There was one other thing. We gotta move into northern Balkans. To nuke the fuck out of the Hungarians. Shouldn't take long. See, that's an attack order. Not the, not the shitty thing that they do in um, with the lines. The attack orders. Slovakia wants to get nuked as well, do they? Anywhere that's not working, bomb them. I've got 43 nukes left, but that's okay. We can handle the rest of this bit even without nukes, I think. But I'll just use them. Because I get so many of them every day. 
If I stopped using nukes, what would I do with them? spread out here a fair bit but that doesn't matter actually in fact the more they do that the, the weaker it's going to be for them so we're moving in on them now so how many forces does um, Vichy France have left? Still apparently about a hundred divisions. Well, the bulk of their forces are now gone. Seems like making them surrender gets rid of about half of the faction's force. We've got four more capitulations to get. The hardest is going to be China. Of those that remain. Good, this will be done soon. Which will mean freeing up of four more armies. Three, sorry, three more armies. Wow, look at China. The thing is, though, you're taking land I don't care about, right? And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to nuke my way and just get get to your uh, core territory and force you to capitulate. So they've only got, at most, 137 divisions. Oh yeah, how do we go over here? Good job. Next. Oh, actually, the Germans are up here. Why don't you go and sort them out real quick? I'd say that, that yep, oh, it says we were defeated though, but they took more damage, arguably. A lot of defeats. Hmm. I thought my navy was better. It's not going to matter soon. So if we look at total strength of the major factions, they still have two or three times as many divisions as what I've got at the maximum estimate. Minimum estimate, they still have more than me. Once we take out Hungary, we'll move in, take out Romania. So 
So how close is Hungary to capitulating? Yeah, that's I dropped that dick. Yes, I think I did. Oh. Oh, I think I dropped the nuke on myself. These units here got just absolutely... No, 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 their organization's low. Right, not their... Yeah, the nuke landed there, I think. Budapest. Oh, wait, Budapest is here. Yeah, Hungary's almost capitulated. Well, I mean, they've started to. They don't have that many victory points. get a containment going before Spain overruns it. We still gotta finish up here. Whatever get ground they gain doesn't matter. Okay, we're almost there. They get supplies coming in through here, so it's not the end of the world if we get pocketed. Send him to come and help. See if we can defeat Hungary by the end of, but before the episode ends. Just a little bit to go. And a 39 nukes. Yeah, we make a nuke every five days. Wrap around over here. Romania stretched in. We go in. In fact, they're already looking pretty, pretty tired and exhausted. Let's, let's just get started anyway. Hungary is out. Off the last of them. That is three out of six done. So I think they want to get nuked for that. Okay, we're done here. Okay. 
Okay. So looking at this now, of the major factions that knocked off about 50 extra divisions, nothing major. So, Spain, Romania, China. We need to readjust our air force so that the Balkans, the Eastern Balkans, can get nuked. It's time to cross over and attack. Anywhere that's red gets nuked. That's worth 20 victory points. Shouldn't need to take too much of them to make them surrender. That's worth three, that's worth one. I reckon we just take this and that should should end them. Give them two nukes in there. Okay, we're at an hour and a half, and oh geez, this is going to be a mess. They're coming at us pretty aggressively here. We don't have air superiority there. I mean, we do, just not enough. Just, just go for about five more minutes, and... Uh, So most of the Hungarians seem to have been wiped out. Yep, they're completely gone. They have no divisions left. But Slovakia is still good too, apparently. What happened here? These guys are really badly damaged. Should I accidentally nuke them? I've taken a lot of casualties. I have accidentally nuked my own men. Oh well, accidents will be made. I should get some sleep now. Still, 270,000 to nearly 10 million of their casualties. Things are going well. Uh, what recruitment law are they on? Communist partition recruiting. Mm -hmm. So 
So they've almost surrendered. They're at 46%. This is worth five. This one was worth 20, so. It's five over here as well. Make a big push for that. Just be careful not to get pocketed, because that will suck. We're a little bit worn out dealing with the Spanish. We don't have that many nukes and everyone feels a bit tired. Okay, go. Let's take out the Romanians. And then we can send these guys to China before China comes to us. I've been chasing this guy for so long, look at this. Basically the Mongol Empire soon. Except just not as powerful. What happened out here? Did someone get pocketed? Oh no, that was just handed over to us when they lost. Right. Okay, Eighty-five percent. Almost done. Oh good, you cleared them out, good job. The German Reich called them in. Are they still the leaders of Axis? I suppose they're just, they're still leaders, they're a government in exile. Romania, oh, 1%, fuck me, okay, um, up here, go, go, go. Take Brasov, that should. Oh, good. They surrender. Station in Romania. Okay, I think that's as good a place as any to end the episode there. So, we got two guys left to take out Nationalist Spain, reorganized Nationalist China. Whew, I'm exhausted. But, you know, we've, we've done a lot for Italy, or should I call it the Roman Empire, whatever. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 18, I think, is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.